faraway land, cradled between the mystical mountains and tranquil lakes, lies the magical Arunachal Pradesh. Home to high altitude meadows and subtropical forests, it is not less than a paradise. Arunachal Pradesh is also the land where the sun rises first. But can it still be called the same when a part of the state lives in darkness? In this God-gifted state lies the four districts of Tawang, Longding, Tirap and Namsai. Where life was hit by insufficient power supply and the inability to pay even for that. The streets bathed in darkness and fear as the streetlights stood lifeless. Bringing a ray of light into this was Nabar. Nabard surveyed and identified the most needy villages of the four states and installed 275 solar-powered LEDs, which not just brought light back to the society, but also the sense of safety, especially for women. The project not only brought light to the lives of over 1.98 lakh residents, but helped save about 18 MW of electricity annually. Nabad thus pulled these districts out of the darkness that prevailed to the light of positivity, hope and a good life. After illuminating the lives of people in one part of the state, Nabad shouldered another responsibility. The district of Changlang was drying up little by little. The old water supply constructed by PWD in the 1980s was no longer sufficient and had become unsafe and the existing streams were almost dried up. There was nothing left to do except to construct a new source of water. Naba took it up as a challenge and set out on the mission. The water source at a distance of 14 kilometers was connected through DI pipe and 0.70 MLD water supply was ensured to eradicate water scarcity. The new system promised uninterrupted water supply for at least the next 25 years. Around 16,000 people of Changlang were now able to taste fresh and clean water. State of Arunachal Pradesh has been uh, gifted with abundance of natural resources like uh, land and water. And the larger share of the population in the state depends on agriculture. More than 60% depends on agriculture for their livelihood. Infrastructure has been one of the biggest bottleneck for the development of agricultural sector in the state. So aligning the state priority, NABAD is also giving importance for infrastructure creation, especially through the Rural Infrastructure Development Fund. So far we have sanctioned 219 projects with the RIDF loan outlay of 2,145 crore. Availability of adequate credit for agricultural operation is one of the major constraints faced by the Arunachal farmers. In order to improve their financial literacy, NABAR, through the Financial Inclusion Fund, has sanctioned several programs to Arunachal Pradesh State Cooperative Bank as well as Arunachal Pradesh Regional Rural Bank. During the last two years, we have sanctioned more than 1,500 financial literacy camps to the banks in the state. Thus, NABAD has enhanced the quality of life in Arunachal Pradesh through infrastructural support and various programs. NABAD, taking rural India forward. <laughs>